some of the most hyped fragrances of all time. Are these fragrances still worth it in 2024? Well, I don't know. Let's talk about it. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, the fashion and fragrance guy that is. So if you like looking good and smelling great, that's what I talk about on this channel. Make sure you hit subscribe and don't forget, hit that bell icon as well so that way when I upload new content, you get notified. So guys, I've got, in my humble opinion, some of the most hyped fragrances over the last couple years. More high-end, niche and high-end designer fragrances. And I want to pose the question, in 2024, are these fragrances still worth the price tag? Well, we're about to find out. I'm gonna give you guys my take and my opinion on 10 of these fragrances. So I'm gonna roll the intro when we come back. We're gonna get all into it. So if you wanna see or hear my thoughts, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. Let's get it. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump into this video. First and foremost, when you talk about height, is a fragrance worth it? The truth of the matter is it depends on who you're asking, right? Now, over the past few years, four, maybe two years or so, I've really been invested into finding more uh, gems, discontinued fragrances that have been discontinued, harder to find. And in my humble opinion, I paid a pretty hefty price tag for some of these fragrances. Mitza from the brand of Christian Dior, the La Collection Privé Collection, discontinued, hard to find. Paid a pretty nice premium for that one. Seal Man, uh, one of the fragrances from Amboise has been discontinued for quite some time. Paid a nice premium for it. So it depends on who you're asking when you talk about value and it depends on that person's financial situation. How much they like the fragrance, how hard it is to source the fragrance or find it or procure a bottle. All of these things go into play so there's really not a simple answer to the question when you talk about value. But with that being said, I have 10 fragrances that have been really hyped over the past couple years and I just want to share you guys with you guys some of these fragrances and just give you guys my quick take so let's get into it. The first fragrance is one from the brand of Parfum de Marley, and that is Layton. All right, you guys probably know about this fragrance, and most of these, if you've been in the fragrance community for five minutes or for five years, I'm pretty sure all the fragrances I'm gonna talk about, you have heard about it. So is Layton worth it? Well, it depends, of course, what, what you're willing to pay, what you find this fragrance for. You can't find it oftentimes on discounters, so again, it really depends. But when you're talking to me, my humble opinion, I would say yes, because it is one of my top three fragrances from the brand of Parfums de Marley. And although there are a few clones out there that kind of get in the ballpark, I still haven't found anything that 100% knocks this fragrance DNA out of the park. So for me and my money, Layton, my gosh, I love this fragrance. And I definitely say in 2024, when you ask your boy, it's definitely still worth it. All right, guys, the next fragrance up is one from the brand of by Killian. This thing has been hyped to death. Rightfully so, in my humble opinion, that's Angel Share. This Angel Share, this beautiful gourmand fragrance that features notes of like praline and uh, oak wood, tonka bean, vanilla, just an absolute treat to my nose. One of my favorite fragrances in the entire planet. So if you're talking about my, my vast collection of fragrances, for me, this is in my top 15 for sure, probably my top 10 in my entire collection. I mean, look at the juice level. It doesn't lie. So you don't even have to ask me. I know there are some really great clones out there on the market, but honestly, even at what this retails for, I still think it's worth it in my humble opinion. I would love to just have, I'm a original kind of guy. I prefer the originals in most cases. So if you ask me, Definitely still worth it because it's one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. From the brand of by Killian. Starting to be hyped, um, starting to be a clone, I'm sorry, a lot. This is Angel Share. 
This next work is I don't even have to go to a, into a lot of conversation about it. The answer is yes, yes, yes. This is one that's entered the new hype train, and this is from Louis Vuitton Imagination. Guys, the dent doesn't lie. I absolutely can't, cannot get enough of this fragrance. I showed you guys a fragrance the other day on my clone list that kind of gets that 80, 85%, but it's not this. I'm just gonna tell you it's not this. And man, this spring and summer is gonna be the end of this bottle for sure. This will not make it through the summer and I have to get it refilled. Is it worth it? Hell yeah. From the brand Louis Vuitton, Imagination. All right, guys, this next fragrance is one of those fragrances that I heard a lot about when I really got into hardcore uh, collecting fragrances. I've always loved fragrances and had my stash of five to 10 that I always kind of rotated in and out. And I would say around 2017, 18, I really started to expand into more niche indie type fragrances and expand my fragrance collection. And I heard a lot about this fragrance from the brand of Amouage. This is the Blue Beast Interlude Man. Interlude Man. Now, when you say, is it still worth it in 2024? This is one of the fragrances on the list that I kind of have a question about for me personally. Why? Because it's such a polarizing fragrance, I don't even wear it a whole lot. And when I do wear it, I only have to use like three sprays of this stuff. All right, so I've worn it a few times, but there's still not a lot of juice missing out of here because again, I only spray this like three times uh, when I do wear it. It's not an extremely versatile fragrance, and I know that people can wear whatever fragrance that they want when they want. Totally understand that. But for me personally, I do consider occasions and seasons when I wear my fragrances, when I put them on. So I won't wear this in the summertime. I won't really wear it, of course, in the spring. So fall and winter is the only time I really wear it. And because I don't need a lot of sprays, I don't use it a whole lot. So is it worth it? I don't know. Well, I'll, cause I will tell you this, this has a very similar DNA to Interlude Man, which is Interlude Black Iris. And I actually prefer this one a little bit more because it's a little bit more versatile and a little bit more wearable because of the additional sweetness of Iris and powderiness from uh, powdery nuances you get from Iris comparatively speaking. So for me personally, and I'm not saying anything about not liking this fragrance, I love it, but is it worth it for retail? Probably not in my humble opinion because I actually prefer Interlude Black Iris. So that's just one guy's opinion. Still a great fragrance. Interlude Man for my watch. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this, and I have a funny story about this fragrance I'm going to tell you in a second, but this next fragrance I want to talk about, is it worth it? From the brand of YSL, the La Vestiaire collection, this is Baby Cat. Baby Cat. Guys, you love vanilla? This is hell yeah, this is worth it. This is so good. My favorite vanilla fragrance. Now, I'm not the hugest fan of vanilla anymore, but how it's done in most fragrances, but this is an absolute home run. So the funny story is I shot a video that I was supposed to upload on YouTube about Baby Cat. Well, I thought I was shooting a video because I did the whole thing and I must not have hit record because when I went to look for it on my camera, it was not there. So there's that. So I'll be doing an individual review on this fragrance because I did one about, well, I thought I shot one about a month ago, but man, came into my collection, my YSL La Vestiaire collection, and it is now my favorite. It just edges out tuxedo in my humble opinion that's my opinion love this vanilla fragrance right here so is it worth it absolutely in my humble opinion it's been discontinued but you can find it for around 300 350 in that range which i think is worth it at that price point so is it worth it in 2024 absolutely why i sell i don't know why you discontinued it but bring this one back this is the best this is baby cat all right, guys, this next fragrance is the one that was hyped up a lot around that 2018-19 time frame from the brand of Mancera. This is Cedrat Boise. Cedrat Boise. Said by a lot of people to smell like Aventus. That's one of the reasons that it got a lot of hype when it came out. Anytime a fragrance is said to smell like Aventus, or at least it used to be the case, it got a lot of hype, a lot of attention. Now, is it worth it? Well, first and foremost, in my humble opinion, comparatively speaking to a lot of other uh, niche brands, Mancera fragrances aren't that expensive, comparatively speaking. These retail for about 180 bucks. And with the fact that you can find these on re uh, discounted for about $90, I still think it's definitely worth that, in my humble opinion. Honestly, it's worth full retail, because this is probably my favorite fragrance from the brand of Mancera. 
All right, and it, it's, it's great to me that it doesn't really smell like a Mentis. So there is that as well. So is Sadrap Boise still worth it in 2024? You better believe it. Get yourself a bottle, fellas. Versatile is this fragrance's middle name. This is Sadrap Boise. All right, guys, this next fragrance comes from the brand of Jerjoff, and this is Naxos. A beautiful honey and tobacco fragrance with lavender. Heard a lot about this one when I first got into expanding my fragrance collection in those earlier days. I've used quite a bit of the bottle, and I say it's definitely still worth it today because nothing quite smells like Naxos. All right, there are a few clones out there on the market. They don't 100% capture the essence of what this is. A lot of people compare this to Pure Havon, which is my favorite, or one of my favorite um, designer fragrances, but they're different. And I always say it's because of that lavender in here. That lavender kind of cleans up that tobacco and honey, makes it really, really smooth. It smooths out that DNA. And this is definitely one of my top three fragrances from the brand of Jerjoff of all time. So in my humble opinion, especially with the fact that you can find this at discounted at a really nice price as well, it's definitely worth it. From the brand of Jerjoff, this is Naxos. All right, guys, this next fragrance comes from the brand of Serge Lutens, and this is called Cher de Guy. Cher de Guy. Man, this is a tobacco and hay fragrance. Very creative. Is it worth it? I'm not even going to spend time on it. Absolutely in 2024. Get yourself a bottle. They're not even that expensive. This is Cher de Guy. And I've saved the most hyped fragrances of all time for last. First, we're going to look at Baccarat Rouge 540. Of course, guys, I have the perform as well this one my EDP is almost gone and I had to take the uh, EDP out of my son's room because he's ran through half of that bottle in about a week's time but that's another conversation for another day Baccarat Rouge 540 is it worth it this is when it gets really tricky these last two fragrances because there are so many really great clones of this fragrance out on the market this is another one where it really you know, it's kind of a, you may look at it as a cop out, but it's really up to the person that's looking to purchase the fragrance. Because there are so many great clones, somebody may say no and just opt to go for one of those clones that are really close. Again, before I get a clone, I really want the original. That's just how I roll, right? But I, I don't think there's anything wrong with getting a clone. Um, so it's really up to the, the person that's looking to uh, make the purchase. For me, because it's such a great fragrance, I don't knock it for its popularity and how many clones there have been that have been good, that have been made. It is one of the most, one of the best niche fragrances and most popular niche fragrances released over the past seven or eight years. So in my humble opinion, I would say yes. From the brand, Amazing Francis Kirk John. This is Baccarat Rouge 540. And last but not least, guys, the most talked about fragrance, the most hyped fragrance in the fragrance community at least of all time has been Creed Aventus all right and we all know what this fragrance is the smoky birchy pineapple fragrance is it worth it this batch that I have absolutely 17 and on one I cannot sincerely words don't do this justice how good this is okay is it worth it nowadays this has more clones than the other fragrance not only does it have clone by clone brands, it also has almost every fragrance brand has come out with their version of Creed Aventus. That's how good and popular this fragrance is and was. Nowadays, of course, because of the popularity of it, it's been watered down. The allure of having a bottle of Creed Aventus is no longer what it used to be, unless you have one of these nice four ounce bottles, all right? So in my humble opinion, the four ounce bottles, if you can find a bottle of, of Creed Aventus, an authentic bottle of Creed Aventus that's in the four ounce variety, in my humble opinion, it's definitely worth it because even the clones don't capture the essence of what this is. Now, if you're talking about some of the, the newer bottles of Creed Aventus that are coming in a 3.3 ounce bottle, I would say no, because those, those, uh, batches of Creed Aventus to me aren't what this is. I have a 3.3 ounce bottle and I got it just so I could kind of compare that bottle or that batch with this old batch and it just wasn't really, 
you know, come close. Honestly, in my humble opinion, at this point, if you can get one of those original batches of a Ventus Cologne, it smells even closer to the older batches of Creed Aventus than the new batches of Creed Aventus actually smell. They're just a bit watered down in my humble opinion. All right, so that's my kind of long, short answer to is Aventus worth it if you can get a bottle, a four ounce bottle, as long as they don't hit you over there for more than a thousand dollars. To me, it's really worth it because they were that good, man. And you put your nose to this, you put your bottle to a new bottle or batch of this, you, you, it's a vintage, but it's not a vintage, if you know what I'm saying. So in my, in my opinion, if you can find that, yes. If it comes down to a 3.3 ounce bottle, something produced 2019 or, or uh, more recent, not really. Honestly, I would take a bottle of uh, Club Lenny anyway, Intense Man, the original bottles of that, over a newer batch of vintage, in my humble opinion. But again, it's just one man's opinion. What do you guys think? But that's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share these videos out to some other folks that you think can use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Voltaire Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side.